The advent of driverless cars has promised to revolutionize the way we travel, but the hype has sometimes outpaced reality. A series of incidents involving robo-taxis has stoked existing safety concerns and sparked angry protests in places like San Francisco, my home city, which has been at the forefront of development and autonomy. I'm here to visit the headquarters of Neuro, one of the few companies operating fully driverless vehicles on public roads today. How did everyone get it so wrong? And a big part of that is that building a vehicle is incredibly complex. Vehicle manufacturers have a seven year cycle for a new vehicle program. When you add that to sort of software speed around building new technology and trying to build the AV software, things get stretched out uh, a, a fair amount of time. Founded in 2016, Neuro is a robotics company that made its mark with the launch of the first ever self-driving delivery vehicles. Product delivery gave Neuro an opportunity to introduce the tech to consumers gradually, while also paving the way for new applications. When you started Neuro, did you have the intention that eventually you would get to transporting human beings? We did think that over time, it would be a fairly natural next step. I think what's happened is that the technology piece has moved faster and we've gotten to a point where the tech is now ready, we believe, to expand to the passenger transportation market. At the core of the company's electric-powered robots is the NeuroDriver, an AI-driven system designed to learn and improve through data. Neuro is also testing tech that will allow customers to gain insight into the inner workings of the driverless vehicles. I'm gonna ask, what are you doing and why? I am on a neighborhood road. I am proceeding because my path is clear. That's a fair see, response. It's, see, it's fairly boring unless there is something interesting going on. That's always been our dream of self-driving, is getting to the point where and we can trust this as much as today we'd trust an elevator, right? We don't really think about elevators anymore. So far, the Neuro passenger vehicles have been used for testing and mapping purposes, and Neuro has not disclosed plans for an imminent rollout, a safety-first approach that, so far, has helped them steer clear of the headlines. No one wants to deploy at scale until they are very confident that the public wants the technology and is welcoming of it. There's a lot of risk here. It's really, really hard, but we think we can do it. 